A little more than a year ago, House Bill 215, the Utah Fitzall Scholarship, was passed by the legislature, which was a monumental win for school choice advocates. The bill appropriates money to Utah students who do, do not take part in public education to offset some expenses of private school tuition, homeschool, or other alternative learning models. I have been following the Utah Fitzall Scholarship for the past year, and tonight, I'm going to tell you just how large the interest is, how many students will benefit, and how a massive financial boost may soon make the program available to a lot more families. Inside the Utah State Capitol Rotunda, hundreds of students, families, and private school administrators singing praises to a piece of legislation passed over a year ago. What was so important about this policy was making sure that parents and kids are in the driver's seat. That's Representative Candace Perucci, co-sponsor of HB 215 that was signed into law during the 2023 legislative session. An education bill that carried $200 million in teacher salary increases and an appropriation of $42 million students could use on private school, home school, micro school, or a series of other blended learning structures. There are just better opportunities out there. Something Tamara Adamson sees as a monumental opportunity for her five daughters. There's not a perfect fit at public schools always. Saying a private school education would be preferred, but simply not attainable for some. A lot of families they just can't afford it. They can't make it work. Mom of four, Alisa Ludlam, agrees. It's so important for every parent to make their own choices, what's best for their kids. The passage of House Bill 215 is a game changer when it comes to educational expenses outside the public school system. The $42 million funded by the state to the Utah Fitzall Scholarship Program breaks down to an $8,000 scholarship for each K through 12 student who was granted the award through an application process available for the upcoming 2024-25 academic year. I know we're gonna be, try to be the first ones to apply, so I hope there's enough for everybody. With three kids in tow, Otto Dubon raises a good point. Is there enough money for everyone? The program is currently funded to support just 5,000 students throughout the entire state. I mean, I didn't know that. Far less than the program has already garnered. We know that we need a lot more money to serve them. Robin Bagley is the executive director of Utah Education Fits All. We're a nonprofit advocacy organization, state-based, and our primary mission and objective is to make sure that parents and families know about the Utah Fits All Scholarship. Their group has been a source of information for families eager to apply, keeping them up to date on application dates and requirements while also asking parents to register their children for their records to gauge how many families could potentially go for the scholarship. We have over 16,000 parents who've done that. That accounts for over 36,000 kids in our database. Using the numbers provided by the advocacy group, it's a 31,000 student difference, leaving the majority of Utah students hoping for educational dollars empty handed. The program is also not first come, first serve. There's also three levels of preference, and it's based on income. Economic status will be used in awarding which children will get the scholarship. Lowest group gets in first. That's going to be tough on a lot of parents. It is. Now they know that we've been trying to demonstrate demand to increase the amount. And those demonstrations have been working with a major funding increase on the horizon. I want it to be a real option for people. I met up with Representative Perucci outside the House of Representatives, asking her about what can be done to help more Utah families searching for other educational options outside of the public system and would rely on a scholarship to make it happen. We did submit another funding request to increase the appropriation amount so that more students can receive it. Along with co-sponsor Senator Kirk Cullimore, Representative Perucci tells me during the current legislative session, they asked for $150 million in additional funds for the scholarship, being negotiated down to the proposal currently on the table. We had looked in public appropriations at $50 million, which is where you'd be roughly doubling and then somewhat we did last year. That figure is not set in stone. It still is in negotiations it's for still, sure. Okay. But moving through the process on how much money the Utah Fits All Scholarship could be awarded and available to students for the upcoming school year. So that goes to the executive appropriating 
Planning Committee to make that decision. A decision coming within weeks. We'll know uh, the session's last day is March 1st. We usually vote on the budget the last week. A request that carries a lot of confidence. I can say I do think there will be an increased amount given the the support that this program has received and the overwhelming number of students who have indicated they want to do it. We really want to make sure that we're able to give a good portion of them this opportunity. And hope for Utah families looking for the right educational fit. I would like to see a program like this continue to grow. So as you heard there, sometime between now and March 1st, the request for additional funding will be voted on. I, of course, will let you know the outcome. In the meantime, the application for the Utah Fits All Scholarship opens one week from today, next Wednesday, February 28th. It will remain open until April 15th. Award recipients will be notified on April 18th.